This is Darshana Gauchen with your B2B Cambodia market update for July 3rd, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was almost unchanged, up by only 0.02 points to 413.99 points. Total trade volume was slightly up but still fairly light, with 116,838 shares changing hands at a total trade value of 666.5 million Khmer real, or roughly 162,000 US dollars. On the main board, the Phnom Penh Autonomous Port led the market, up by 7.11% or 960 real to 14,460 real per share. Meanwhile, rural group Phnom Penh SEZ also saw a 1.35% or 30 real increase to 2,260 real per share. Other stocks up were the Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority and the Sienicville Autonomous Port. On the downside, we saw Grand Twins International fall 3% or by 90 real to 2,910 real per share. CAMGSM was also down 0.41% to 2,440 real per share, and Ecleda Bank was down 0.27% to 7,500 real per share. Pestec Cambodia and MJQ Education remained flat. Over on the growth board, JS Land was up once again, rising by 2.99% or 110 real to 3,790 real per share. DBD Engineering, meanwhile, was down 0.96% or 20 real to 2,060 real per share. Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ was the day's trade volume leader, with 62,435 shares changing hands at a value of 142.9 million real, or 34,770 US dollars, equivalent to 30% of all trades on July 3rd. Ecleda Bank remained in second place with 39,468 shares traded at a total value of 297.7 million real, or 72,400 US dollars, roughly 19% of market volume. In other national economic news, Cambodia's macroeconomic performance appears to be on the mend, with the country's GDP growth on the recovery path forecasted to maintain at 6% in 2024 and at 6.5% in the medium term from 2025 to 2027, according to statistics from the Ministry of Economy and Finance. A recent presentation delivered by the General Department of Policy specifically pointed to manufacturing, including garments and non-garments, tourism and service-related sectors, as well as agriculture as the main drivers of growth in in the current Cambodian economy. Non-garment manufacturing appears to be maintaining good momentum supported by external demand, together with the domestic supply industry, and the garment sector is forecasted to rebound back in 2024 and in the medium term, under the expectation that global demand will recover. FDI inflows have also increased, especially in manufacturing, which is helping to facilitate economic diversification. Exports are expected to recover strongly, supported by the recovery of the garment sector. Inflation in the country is also expected to converge to its historical average in the medium term, on the back of the normalization of global commodity prices. In 2024, the Consumer Price Index inflation rate picked up to 2.7% in Cambodia, but is predicted to normalize down to 2.5% from 2025 to 2027. The Khmer real to USD weakened slightly to 4,113 real per US dollar, while the US dollar index was slightly down to 105.64. Moving on to global commodities, oil prices increased on Wednesday following a strong demand outlook in the world's largest oil consumer, the US, and continuing disputes in the Red Sea, which is one of the world's most frequently used shipping lanes for oil and fuel shipments. International benchmark Brent crude traded at 86.67 US dollars per barrel, up 0.49%. Data released by the American Petroleum Institute late on Tuesday showed a decrease of 9.16 million barrels in U.S. crude oil inventories, against the market prediction of a draw of 400,000 barrels. Official statistics from the U.S. Energy Information Administration will be released later in the day, and if a decrease in crude and gasoline stockpiles is confirmed, prices are expected to climb further. Moreover, in solidarity with Palestinians in Gaza, Yemen's Houthi group continues to target cargo ships in the Red Sea owned or operated by Israeli companies that are transporting goods to and from Israel. The group said Tuesday that it attacked a vital target in Haifa City in northern Israel with cruise missiles. Gold prices also strengthened on Wednesday with spot gold up by 0.7% to $2,344.60 US dollars per ounce and US gold futures up 0.9% to $2,354.20 US dollars. According to experts, Wednesday's price gains for gold are related to the softening of the U.S. dollar that came after the chair of the U.S. Federal Reserve acknowledged in public that inflation in the U.S. is finally starting to move in the right direction. As of the time of the Cambodian market's closing, U.S. stock futures appeared to be rising early Wednesday after the Nasdaq and S&P 500 finished at record highs in the previous session. Stocks got a boost from companies with large market values such as Tesla, which jumped 10% on Tuesday, as well as from semiconductor makers. 
Futures tied to the S&P 500 inched up by 0.03%, Dow Jones Industrial Average futures were up 0.1% higher, while Nasdaq 100 futures were marginally higher as well. This was Darshana Gauchin with your B2B Cambodia market update for July 3rd.